Hey guys, it's Clay Hayes with TwistedStave.com and today we're going to start the process of making some rawhide. Now, uh, I primarily use rawhide as bow backings. Uh, I cut strips out of it and I use that to back bows, but there's rawhide can be used for any number of things. You can make baskets or parafletch or cordage or anything you want with rawhide. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, first of all, you're gonna have to flesh the hide, and if you're not familiar with how to do that, I've also got a video on, on how to flesh the deer hides, so check that out if you haven't already. Um, but we're gonna have to take the hair off of this hide. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, you could, uh, after you flesh it, you could string this thing up, allow it to dry, and do what they call a dry scrape method. And basically you take like a 90 degree, really sharp edged cutting tool and you scrape the hair off of it. And I've done that uh, many times for making buckskins and it works well, but it's a lot of work and it does take a certain amount of skill to be able to do it that way. Uh, you could roll this thing up, put it in a trash bag and let it kind of decompose a little bit until the hair starts to slip. And that's an effective method, but it's also very smelly. Uh, you can also use hardwood ash, which contains lye, and lye will cause uh, the hair to slip. That's a great method, um, but it does take a little while uh, because the lye concentration is not, uh, not real high. Um, the, the method that I prefer to use, because it's very quick and easy, is to use concentrated lye. And that's what's in that bag right there. Now, you used to be able to find like Red Devil Lye at the hardware store or even in the grocery store in the cleaning section, but it's gotten very hard to find these days. And so uh, you can order it online. Um, if you're not doing but just a one or two hides, that's probably the way to do it. Um, but it, if you're doing a lot of hides, it tends to get kind of expensive. And so what I did, I got that 50 pound sack right there for about 40 bucks. Um, and I just had it ordered in uh, to a ke chemical supply house uh, here in my hometown. Um, now, I want to mention a word of caution when you're working with lye. This stuff is, I'm not usually one to talk a whole lot about safety because I think that's mostly common sense, but this stuff is nasty. You do not want to get this stuff in your eyes and you don't want, once it's mixed with water, you don't want to get it on your hands because it will, basically what it's gonna do to this hide is it's gonna make it shrink and swell up and that's gonna cause that hair to slip. And if you stick your hand down in that solution, it's gonna do the same thing. And I did that one time and my hand was like, almost felt like rubber and it was very tender for three or four days. So don't make that mistake, learn from my mistakes. So the first thing we're going to do is I've got a tub here. Uh, I'm going to put about, I don't know, six or seven gallons of water in there. Now it is fairly cool out here. And so I went ahead and got about, oh, I don't know, two and a half gallons of hot water out of the tap in my house. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put that in there and that's going to help that lye dissolve. And then I'm going to water it down with a little bit of cold water before we put our hides in there. Now for six or seven gallons of water, you probably want about oh, a pound of lye or uh, I'm gonna say four or five cups. Something about like that. Now if you don't have lye and can't get lye, you can actually use the pelleted Drano, it actually works pretty good because it's mostly lye. So just stir this stuff around until it dissolves. And like I said, don't get this stuff on you. to do it. And just drop your hides in there and they're gonna want to float. So you need to stir them around, 
kind of get them saturated and then grab some rocks or something and just weight them down. And this is gonna take, it's, it's really gonna depend on the temperature, how long this takes. Um, in warm weather, you can dehair a hide like this in, you could probably do it in a day. Um, and certainly in two days. With it being cold like this, probably three or four days minimum. But uh, you need to come out and stir these things, turn them over, stir them so that all parts of the hide come in contact with this lye solution. And uh, when this stuff, when we finally do pull this out of this solution, this hair is just gonna wipe off. You can dehair the hide with your hand. All right, so I've got a big rock here. I'm just gonna put that right in there. Let me grab another one and get the weight the other side down. Just try to push down anything that's sticking up above the water. All right, so now we just need to let this sit and uh, like I said, stir it every couple of days, and in a couple of days, we'll be able to just wipe that hair right off. All right, so this hide has been soaking in this lye solution here for a couple of days, and you can tell when the hair is ready to slip, if you just reach down in there and, and just kind of pinch the hide a little bit, the hair will come right off. Um, so when you've got, got it at that, at that stage, reach in there and grab it, and it's, it's gonna be slippery because it's got all that lye in there. And the lye combines with the fat that's still on this deer hide and makes kind of a soap. But when it's ready, you can see, I mean, you can just literally push, push that, that hair right off of it. There, there'll be some areas that, that are still a little stubborn just take your uh, your flesh and tool and get that up here. There you go. Nasty. Just take your flesh and tool and push that hair right off of there. If you have a few areas that are really clinging and that are difficult for the hair to come off, um, just put it back down in the solution for another day and that should take care of it. All right, so we've got all the hair off of this thing. Now we have to rinse the lye out of it. Um, if we left the lye in there, we're eventually gonna tack this thing up on a board and um, dry it out. And if we had all that lye in there, it, it just wouldn't stretch. It's almost like rubber right now. And so the way I get the lye out is I soak it in a tub and with fresh water and change the water um, every day for couple of days until you'll you'll notice that hide will thin back out right now it's really thick with all that lye in it but it'll eventually if you keep changing the water it'll thin back out and you'll be able to pull it and stretch it in different ways all right so this hide has been soaking for about three days and I've changed the water about five times now when we first put this hide in here it had all that lye in it. It was super slick, like so slick that when you grabbed it, you could barely hold it because it would just slip out of your hand. The way that you know that this hide is ready, that all the lye is out and this hide is ready to pull out of this water and tack up to dry is there's a couple of things to look for. One is that you can actually grab it and hold on to it. It's not super slick anymore. When we put it in this water, or when we took it out of the lye solution and put it in here, it was really thick and it felt really rubbery and slippery. 
this hide um, through soaking and changing the water, it's gonna thin back out a little bit. And then also, when you grab this thing and squeeze it, you should be able to squeeze the water out of it. When it first came out of the lye solution, if you squeezed it, it would just plump back up. Um, that water, it wouldn't stay compressed. And so when you have those three things, when you can grab it and hold it, when you can squeeze and it just stays compressed, it's ready. Just pull it out of here and tack it up uh, somewhere in the sun so it can dry. I staple it to a piece of plywood and just set it in the sun and it'll be dry in no time flat. So there you go, just, uh, just staple it out like this every, every couple of inches around the hide and uh, stick it in the sun and let it dry. All right, so this is dry. I actually had to bring it inside the shop here so it could dry by the, uh, the wood stove because it's pretty cold outside. Um, all you gotta do is pull it right off of there and I mean, it's, it's uh, pretty much done. I like to take a box cutter and just go around the outside because these staples in here, you're gonna pull out a lot of staples with it and um, they can be kind of kind of dangerous. So I just kind of go around the outside here. All right, so if you guys have any other ideas on videos that you want to see, you know, how to do something or anything outdoors, leave me a comment and let me know about it because honestly, <clears throat> Coming up with good stuff to make videos on is one of the most difficult things about putting out a, a video every week. So leave a comment, let me know what you think about this video, and uh, give me some ideas for future ones. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, we're going to be doing more of this type of stuff. We're going to be doing more hide tanning. Um, I've also got the bow building videos and all sorts of traditional archery stuff. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do that. Um, but with that, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.